Thanks for checking out this video. Today I'm going to be making my version of the Taco Bell Crunch Wrap. Make sure you stick around. It's going to be awesome. All right, so I'm just going to chop the onion, the tomato, and the garlic. Give it a rough chop. Okay, I'm just using one clove of garlic here, about half an onion. Okay, just like that. And then one tomato. I've got maybe half a pound, three quarters of a pound of ground beef, an 80-20 ground beef. You can use burgers if you like, that works well. So the seasoning I'm gonna use is just the taco blend seasoning, the ones you get in the little packages. So I'm only using maybe about, eh, about one third of the package. Don't wanna to use too much, might be a little salty. All right, so I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit just to get things going. So we got that in there. It already smells like a taco. Okay, we'll get that going. A little bit of olive oil. And I'm gonna start off with the meat because we wanna make sure the meat is uh, cooked all the way through before we get the onions and garlic in there. So let's just get that in there. Okay, let this cook through. All right, so the ground meat is just about done here. Doesn't look like we have a whole lot of oil, so I'm gonna use a slotted spoon to pull that out so we can get to the onions and the garlic. So I'm gonna pull this out and leave some of that oil in there. All right, so I, I left a little bit of the, uh, the fat, the oil in there. We're not gonna add any more at this point. So we're gonna get the, uh, the onions and the garlic in there right now. It'll, it'll help with the, the flavoring. It'll pick up some of that flavoring. Okay, and we'll throw the garlic right on top of there. Give it a stir. Now you can add salt and pepper here if you want. Yeah, it's not really necessary. There's a lot of seasoning, a lot of flavoring in the seasoning that we use, the taco seasoning. So we're just gonna let this, let this cook a little bit until the onions are translucent. Just another minute or two. And yes, in case you haven't realized, I'm using my, my Ninja Never Stick Pans. Still have them. It's been, you know, going on two years. And we're gonna add that in here. Get all the juices in there too, that's fine. It's all gonna add more flavor. All right, give that a nice stir. All right, so I think we're good here. So I'm just gonna stop that for now. And we're gonna get, get the meat out of the pan here. And we're gonna let it sit and cool for a little bit. So now I'm gonna grab one of these large tortillas, the flour tortillas. These are basically for the uh, large burrito. We're gonna use this to kind of wrap everything. I've cleaned out the pan. I've got it preheating again on the induction cooktop here. Also got one of these wraps here. What we're gonna do is add our uh, meat mixture, a couple of large spoonfuls here just in the center, because we want to be able to wrap it. I mean, you could potentially just cook a burger and throw the burger right on the top. Now that would work a lot easier. So let's flatten that out a little bit. Move that off to the side. Next, I'm gonna use some of this Sir Kensington uh, chili lime crema. It's a little bit spicy, but it'll work. So throw a little bit of that on the top. Gonna add some cheese to the top of that, like that. 
And this is just a uh, Mexican blend cheddar. Uh, I've got, you know, uh, thin and thick shreds. So now at this point here, you can add all your vegetables and uh, uh, other seasonings if you, if you want to add them. Um, you grab a spoon. We'll throw a little bit of the salsa on the top here just to give it a little bit extra flavoring and a little moisture. Or you can use, you know, Taco Bell's squeezable packet. Okay, next, this is a tostada. It's basically a flat taco, taco shell. And I can eat these just like this. They're great. Okay, do that. Now we're going to add some guac, a couple of tablespoons of that on it. You don't have to do this part here, but I think it's going to add some creaminess to it, just a little flavor. All right, so let's put that in there. Add just a few tomatoes. Now, I don't normally, I don't use cilantro, so I'm not going to add the cilantro in it. All right, and some more cheese to the top here, so it'll give it something to stick to when we press it. All right, so now we're just going to fold this. That's why you want to use the, the largest ones you can find here and here. All right, now probably could have went a little bit smaller, but it's all right. This will work. So I'm going to put this seam side down, give it a little press. And I've got a one of these press irons just to kind of help it along. So let's let's see how we're doing here. Again, only a minute or two. You don't need a long, just until it's nicely brown. Let me take a look at that. That's nice. Now we're gonna put on this other side here. Give that a, a nice press down. Let that go for a couple of minutes. Uh, and then we'll cut it up. Obviously, you got to let it cool because it's probably kind of going to be kind of hot in, in there. But I'll bring you back when when this is done and it's all toasted up. All right. So now I've already flipped it. I actually gave it a second flip just to make sure it's all nice and brown and toasted. Let's take a look at this Taco Bell copycat crunch wrap, Joe's version. I mean, that look at that. That looks nice. So now what I want to do is uh, I want to cut into it. And see what it see what it looks like. I'm sure, it's going to be delicious, and because we made it, it's going to be better than Taco Bell. So I'm just going to cut into it here. Oh, hear that crunch! Nice. All right, let's take a look here. Hey, huh? That's not too bad. It's pretty good. Look at that. Taco Bell's doesn't do that. Like, ah, that ain't that nice. So let's give this a, a, a taste here. So now, now you can add some more guacamole to it. Uh, you can go with a little sour cream. I'm going with a little sour cream. Just a little bit here. Just like that. Just a little kiss. Maybe, maybe two kisses. So let's give it a try. Mmm. This is really good. The, the sour cream gives it a little freshness, a little, uh, a little coolness to it. There was some spice in this chili lime crema from Sir Kensington. Um, so it's got a little bit of a kick on the background, not overpowering by any means, but it's delicious. I mean, this thing is really good. So I hope you enjoyed my version of the Taco Bell copycat crunch wrap. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the recipe. If you give it a try, let me know in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.